Hey guys, The Wolf Den here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Orc Super Cannon Kit. It's a Forge World Kit, so you got to do a little bit more work in terms of getting it to go together. you got to wash it, clean the parts, etc. It turns out there are no instructions for this kit, like, at all. I've done quite a fair bit of research into this topic. Uh, I've looked online for quite a while, and there are no uh, assembly guides for this. Uh, in terms of things that are actually provided by Forge World, there's one or two uh, guides on YouTube that are roughly step by step, but in terms of actually getting a complete finished product, I wanted to make a video that pretty much went through it step by step to actually show how to put this thing together because it's not a super expensive kit, but at the same time, you want it to look good. This is, uh, so this is the Super Cannon. I have it in the background here. Uh, it's an artillery piece that can be either mounted as on uh, the plastic orc battle wagon kit, uh, in replace of the big heavy armor that goes in the back. Or it can be mounted on the gargantuan squigoth. Uh, I recently was able to come into possession of a squigoth, a, one of the gargantuan ones. And I wanted something to go with it, so I picked up this artillery gun. Uh, the problem being that it doesn't have any instructions, which is a definitely a little bit frustrating, all things considered. So, for my first ever YouTube video, I decided that I was going to go ahead and make a guide on how to put it together. In a few seconds, we will cut to the parts list, and I will show you, as far as what I can tell, what goes what and what exactly is each piece how everything roughly goes together, and I'll take you through my steps on how to actually prep the resin and get everything to go together uh, relatively smoothly. The second part of this video will be an, an actual assembly guide on how to put this thing together. So, minimal talking, mainly just me gluing the kit on camera and showing you as best I can how everything goes in terms of, uh, you know, in terms of assembly and orientation and all that stuff. Uh, it's definitely an interesting kit. Uh, you can see by the background here, it's very detailed. It would make a rather interesting uh, conversion bit for an orc battle wagon, so they're not all, uh, you know, so not all the same. Uh, making gun wagon and stuff like that, it's also a uh, rather interesting looking artillery piece in and of itself. So if you were making a diorama, or if you were making like a game board, uh, it would look pretty interesting in terms of, like, your orc backline or, like, an orc camp or a settlement. Uh, it comes with three grots, <laughs> which all have really unique personalities, which I think is really cool because as an orc player, I uh, definitely enjoy having a lot of grots, especially grot crewmans and stuff like that to go on my orc war machines and cannons and what have you. So uh, this model definitely has character. It can actually pivot up and down, which is neat. Uh... You know, you could tighten the joints a little bit in order to get it to stay, but you can position it relatively how you want. And it also comes with an additional piece to mount on the back of the battle wagon to give it a little bit more space for your crew, which is pretty neat. And I have to say it was an excellent addition. So let's take a look at the parts and uh, we will go from there. Hey guys, thank you for joining me for part two of my first ever YouTube video, which is on the Orc Super Cannon Kit. I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys all the parts here and how relatively everything goes together. So before you even get the parts out, I would recommend giving all of the parts a nice clean, either with an ultrasonic cleaner and some dish soap or uh, letting it sit in a nice container of dish soap for about 24 hours, giving it a scrub with a toothbrush and letting everything dry and then you'll be ready to build and assemble. So. Uh, let's go through all the pieces, and if you guys want a full guide on how to actually fully prepare a miniature, you know, the actual step-by-steps on how to clean and prep resin or metal, uh, let me know, and I can certainly see about doing a video on that, because that is a very tricky subject, and not a lot of actual official model sources cover it, besides the absolute basics. So, the Super Cannon kit is laid out in front of me. I am missing one single piece that is very tiny. I can't find any close-ups of what it looks like. As far as I can tell, it's a decorative piece that does nothing in terms of the actual build and assembly. 
Uh, but like I mentioned, I really only have one reference that's very blurry. So if someone can point me out what exactly that piece does that's not featured here, uh, they can let me know and I'll add something either to this video or the next one on what that piece is. So I'm just going to go ahead and cover the pieces that I have here. So, all right. So starting with the fun bits first, we have our grots, our gun crew. So this one's probably my favorite. It's got this cool walkie-talkie radio artillery spotter gear on. He's mid-shout here. I really like how expressive he is. We got this poor sod. He's, uh, he's carrying the latest shell and he's got something in his mouth. I think it is some kind of... I think it's like another shell. He's got something in his mouth. And lastly, we have this guy who is uh, clearly in thought, and he's got a hammer. So he's uh, uh, another worker, you know, very expressive. I really like these grot models, and they're a lot different than the other grot models you get in some of the other orc kits. So that's always neat to get a bunch of these guys and pose them and get them all nice and looking good for your artillery pieces. So here's a nice box of DACA. Really nice uh, display thing of shells that you can uh, have next to the gun. And uh, yeah, pretty nice thing of artillery shells here. Nothing uh, nothing super fancy with these, you know, just basic, basic uh, guard bases. All right, so let's see. Uh, so here is the main barrel very nicely detailed very well sculpted it's detailed enough but it's not overly detailed i like the face there uh definitely a little bit warped towards the end here you can tell it kind of curves a little bit of warm water or hair dryer run that over and it'll straighten right out just give it a little bend uh my piece is broken here that's what this is this is the little thing that holds the uh, back door of the cannon. So that's broken off. Generally the ones on the actual models are not broken, but mine is. So that's what this little piece is. Next is you have this little weight slash scope, which will, because I'm not used to things, slot in right here. And that'll just stay there. I'm not 100% on the orientation. I don't think it really matters. But since there's not like any kind of detail in terms of that, it just kind of spots into the top. Next, we have this piece, which mounts on the back of the battle wagon and is an additional spot for your crew to stand, which is neat. I, in the next video, I will bring out my battle wagon and I will show how this goes on there. And I will show how you can mount that onto the battle wagon. Next we have the gun shield, which is again very detailed, I like the little scope there. So this is mounted on here very simply. So these two little poles that need to be straightened with some warm water will slide over here and both of these will plug in. So that's what that'll look like. It'll be flat and those two will be inserted there correctly. So that'll be relatively flat. gun door here uh very nicely detailed uh very earth shaker like as well which is cool so it's like you can kind of see oh they got this from looting an earth shaker just gonna put this to the side so this is we have two parts here there are two different ways to mount your gun so the first, this is a part specifically that was designed for the battle wagon. And this will slot into the central little uh, space in the crew compartment of the gun wagon. So it'll sit like this and it has these nice little pieces that will secure it in place. And again, I will bring my battle wagon out and I will show you how exactly that goes in there. Not a slot in here. So this is specifically for the battle wagon. And for everything else, we have this, which is the standard Forge World Orc Artillery, Forge World style Orc Artillery little uh, placement thing. Again, 
parts are chipped because I was a little too eager in wanting to clean my model, so this was chipped. Uh, so this should be round entirely if I can actually get it to cooperate. Would look, uh, would look something like this. That's the other piece, so as you know, it's chipped. I decided to keep it. I might just say it's broken, but... So, how this works, it's very simple. Like so. And then with a little modification, this platform will be inserted here, which will allow this to rotate. So next and last but not least, I'm gonna show you how the main gun roughly goes together. Since it's the probably the trickiest part of this build, but nothing nothing you can't handle. So this is the main ground piece for the cannon. You have these are going to be facing the rear. So the gun is going to point this way. These two are gonna be for your crew in the back. That's a little bit extra piece of flash that'll that'll be removed. So this is your the main cannon, obviously. So it's gonna go like this. So this is the one side. It's very well detailed, as you can see. So in order to get this in, each side has a hole. You're going to slot that in right there. You're going to grab your other piece here, and this is going to form the rear. As you can tell, it's got the very nice detailing. A little bit of flash here, so I can't show you exactly how it lines up. But what you want to do... So it's going to peg in relatively like this. As you can see on the bottom, things are starting to line up roughly. There's two little grooves here that will hold this in place. And you have the front of the gun, the back of the gun here. And let me show you what that looks like. And that's pretty much, uh, that's pretty much how the gun's gonna go together. It's not anything insanely tricky, but it's, uh, it's basic enough, really. And last but not least, this will slot in between this, these two posts here, and these two little rails. And that will sit relatively flat, you add the extra bits, and you're pretty much done. So that is my part two of the first video of the Orc Super Cannon. And uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the assembly video.